guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shane Renee, and hi, we are back for another vlog. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for vibes. I just had like a little moment because I didn't really know what I wanted to say, but I'm gonna get it together. I feel like it's been a few days since I've been on the camera, and I feel a little weird, but whatever. It's a little rainy day here in Atlanta, but I wanted to brighten the mood and bring you guys this quick little try haul before we get into today's vlog because I got a few pieces from Jabella She. So shout out to Jabella She for sponsoring today's video. Today's video, I love their pieces. They have really cute, affordable things for a reasonable price. And I'm about to show you guys what I got. You know, it's giving all the summer vibes that we need. We love that. Um, these are my favorite items from them that I personally picked out. So if you like them, make sure you guys check the links in the description boxes and get your hands on them. Um, but before we get into the channel, I just want to thank you guys for getting me to 20,000 subscribers and counting because we are continuing to go up. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And I couldn't do what I do without you guys and all the support that you give me. So I just want to say thank you before we get into this video, the vlog, the trial haul, whatever, and just show my gratitude and appreciation for all of you guys. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm very happy. I'm excited. And I'm going to have giveaway details coming soon for what I want to do. But let's get into the trial haul. Okay, so the first thing up on this haul is this super cute swirly print dress in this really cute baby blue color. I love the colors, the tones. I love the fit on this dress. It's super thick. It's like a nice thick knitted material. I got this in a size small. So if you guys are using my size for reference, that is my size. It has like these spaghetti straps. Really, really good quality. 10 out of 10 for this piece. I really like this one. I see myself wearing this to like you know, a little night out for the summer. Little lounge vibes, maybe club if you dress it up. Forget that vacation, you know? Super, super cute. This is the first item and so far I'm loving the vibes. Next up, I got this really cute short set, which I thought was really cute just to lounge like on a resort or something. You know, when you leave your hotel room, you wanna go get some quick food or something like that. I thought this would really be cute. It's very effortless. And I guess I was into prints. When I picked out this uh, these items for this haul, because a lot of the items I got got prints, but it's still cute nonetheless. Really love this. I also have this in a size small. I like the monochromatic vibe that it has going on. This is the full look. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think about these pieces. All links will be in the description box below for you to get your hands on these items. And hey guys, next we have this super cute preppy looking dress. This is like a cute golf cart date vibe. It has like the backless look. I also love the material on this as well. It's that really tight, thick knitted material. One thing about Gorilla Sheet, if you guys want the super, super great quality, go for like the thick rib knitted dress like these because you can definitely get like a lot of uses out of them and the quality is just like 10 out of 10. Hey Bentley, do you mind sitting down? Because you're making a lot of noise. So next up, another one of my faves. It's giving very lifesaver vibes. By now, everybody should have seen this outfit before, but if you want to get it for a great deal, shop Jamela She. They have all the looks. Um, this one is also in a size small. It's a two-piece set. So we have the top, we have the bottoms. It fits perfectly. I love the fit on these. It's giving very much body and baby. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even know what else to say. It's also one of the knitted material, just like the two other dresses that I showed you guys. So it's really, really cute. Um, very cute for vacation, regular days here in Atlanta. I'll definitely be getting a lot of wears out of this this summer. What do we think? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Love a good little set for a Target run, home goods run. You know, all the errands that we need. I don't know if this is season or not. Oh, oh. oh no. So I sound like covering myself because I'm not wearing a bra. But as you guys can see, it's a little bit see through, but that's okay with me. Um, this is perfect because it's like really hot in Atlanta, so I need something that's very airy and light. So I love this about this item. I'm wearing this in a size small, and I feel like I could have did like a medium. Because the bottoms like are like a little bit tight, but nonetheless, still really cute. It's not tall girl friendly, unfortunately, but I don't mind the little capri style vibe, you know. So yeah, this is the next item. Let me just thank you guys. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys want to get this item, make sure you guys size up. Size up. That's my advice to you. Next up is this super cute dress. 
This is something I would use like as like a swim cover up because it has like this type of towelish kind of material. Let me get close so you guys can see like what I'm talking about. Can you guys tell? It's like, I don't know. It's like that kind of material that would dry you off. I can't explain it. But I love the little two side cutout details here. It makes it super fun. Then it has this thing on the side that's just hanging. I like how the white is nice and bright and it just pops. I'm also wearing this in a size small. This is really fun and cute. Like I said, I'll wear it like a pool day cover up or a beach day cover up. Even like if I was going to like a, a water park, I'd have a bit to it and throw this over. That's just my vibe for this dress. Some of you guys might have a whole different vibe. I don't know, but I just like it like that for this particular material. Um, and yeah, really, really cute, nice material, great fitting. And if you guys like it, you know the link is right below. You know what to do. All right, guys, so the next dress. The next item is this super cute orange dress. I don't even think I tied this dress properly. Because my panties are showing because it's like a low back type of moment. But I don't think I tied it right. But when I figure out how to tie this dress and I get, you know, a proper look going on, I think this dress is really, really cute. It goes all the way down to my feet. It's really, really long. And it's nice and light. Perfect for resort vacation. Oh my god. Just it's, the only thing complicated about this dress is the strings, but once I said like once I figure it out, it's gonna give like a nice backwards moment. And you're gonna have to do some low, low panties or no panties with this because it's that kind of vibe. But I really like this dress nonetheless. I like how it drops in the front as well. So if you guys are thinking about getting like a nice small summer dress, this is the one. Alright you guys, last item for this haul is this super cute dress. I love the colors, it's nice and fun, and it's just really a nice vibe. It's a nice thin material. Once again, perfect for vacation, perfect for the summer. If you don't have the items that you want in your summer wardrobe yet, make sure you guys run to Jerobishi. I'm also wearing a dress in a size small. All items that I tried on, the all items that I tried on on today's haul will be listed in the description box below. So if, you, so if there's anything that you guys want, Make sure you guys click the link and use my code. That's going to also be in my description box. Just save a little bit more coins. We love to save. And get these items and get cute for the summer. Get cute for your next vacation. And that's all for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let's get straight into this vlog. Bye. Hey, guys. I'm at the orthodontist. I'm about to get my Invisalign started. I'm super excited. It's been a little process. It hasn't been too long. But today, I'm going to get the scan done on this monitor right here and we're gonna just figure out you know what i gotta do to make me get the right smile so i'm really excited and of course i'm gonna do a proper introduction to this vlog in the next clip but for right now i'm just really happy to get this process going and my orthodontist did tell me that i'm allowed to vlog so i'm gonna be able to bring you guys with me especially when i come in next time to pick up my trays because today we're just doing the scan to get the trays but i'm really excited i can't wait Side next okay. to your tongue. Okay. But before I start, I'm going to dry your teeth off just because I have to make sure there's no saliva in the way. Just because okay. if there is saliva in the way, it won't pick up the tooth because it starts to think that's the way your tooth is structured and it's not. So I'm gonna dry the teeth off before I start. It's gonna be very cold. Just once I dry them, just try not to like relick them once I dry them. Okay. So I gotta get all the way to the back tooth there. I'm gonna try to lift your tongue one more time for me. I gotta go on this side of it. Good. I was trying to add something else to my order, but I don't know if you heard me. Uh, yeah, I didn't hear you from there again. Uh, what else were you hoping to order? Do you guys have the ham and cheese croissant? Yeah, 
take a minute. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I won't. That's fine. I want one of those. I'm hungry. I don't care about no mini. Oh my my. All right, we secure the matcha, but I gotta wait a minute for the ham and cheese croissant. My camera's dying, so I'm gonna just check in with you guys when I get in the house. But this is a tall matcha latte with vanilla sweet cold foam, oat milk, and some brown sugar syrup. I've never tried it with the brown sugar syrup, so let me taste it real quick. Okay, the brown sugar syrup makes a difference. I'm feeling it. Before you guys see this one, you guys will see that one. But that's the vibe today. I'm just trying to focus on my editing today. My laptop's about to die, so I gotta head out of here anyway. But I'll have them in like on the camera talking to you guys because they have music playing and I don't want to get copyrighted. So that's what's going on. But um once I leave here, I'll update you guys on what I'm doing for the day. But your girl is staying super consistent, so I'm excited. Um once I get home, I think honestly I'm probably gonna just like start packing up my stuff because y'all already know it's about that time. And yeah, you know, I'm gonna have like a little busy weekend. I'm not doing anything. But let me have the camera because I don't really get copyrighted. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so I'm just leaving the coffee shop. I'm about to head to the post office. Oh, it's so hot in here. Oh my god. I'm about to head to the post office because I have orders to drop off and then once I'm done with that I'm gonna go home and finish editing because the coffee shop closes at 4 and it's 3 40 and then they open back up at 5 so I'm like it was really cold in there anyway so I'm like I'm gonna just go home and then finish my editing there because I have to send over some information anyway to um this brand for the brand deal that that will be in front of that blog I'm gonna make sure y'all don't fall so I can get that approved so I can make sure that I can post that content. So I gotta do all that. This is giving working weekend vibes. Like last weekend in New York, make sure y'all check out that check out that vlog. I was turned. So I'm good. Like once I like go out and fill up my social meter, I don't be needing to go out for like a few weeks after that. Like I could do calm stuff like you know, drinks and dinner, like with the girls, but like the club. We gotta ease off that for a little bit, okay? Um, but yeah, I just discovered this new little spa that's right by the coffee shop, and it's given I'm gonna book myself a little spa day one day because it looks so cute in there. I love the aesthetic. I just checked it out on Google. I'm like, we gotta hit up that spa girl before I become too hyped up, cause you know, everything gets like super hyped as soon as it touches TikTok. It'd be over everybody want to go there but i definitely want to do that um, i think i'll book it for like after i'm done moving into my new apartment because i know that's going to be so much work i'm going to need like a wind down you could turn ain't no freaking way ain't no way people here be so fucking scared to drive like i just don't understand like you had the opportunity to turn anyway yeah that spot just looks so cute so definitely want to go there and I think when I get home, I'm going to finish my laundry. I'm trying to clean up all my clothes and everything so I don't have no dirty clothes. When I'm moving, I'm going to start organizing my closet, figuring out what I want, what I don't want. I have a lot to do. I need to book the cleaning lady who has to clean out my apartment so that way I can get approved for my move out. It's so much stuff, y'all. So once I get home, I'm just going to figure out everything I need to do. And this is why I don't need to be going out because I, ha I have a lot to do. Like, literally, I have, I think when it's too much, when I know something's going to take a lot of my time, I try to avoid it. You know, I have that bad habit, and it's not like I intentionally try to procrastinate, but sometimes I can't handle the fact that something's just going to be, like, a lot. Then I waste the last minute, and I just be trying to rush. It'd be too much, guys. Like, adulting? Is this what we wanted? 
Is this your king? Like, is this what we wanted, y'all? Like, that line is from, um, Wakanda. What's that movie? Not Wakanda. Black Panther, if y'all didn't know. But, can't believe this is what we rushed to grow up to do, to just have all these responsibilities. And it's so crazy, because when I was in New York, my little cousin, last weekend, she's in high school. She's turning 16 in October. I was like, girl, please do not be in a rush to grow up, please. Like, take it from me like you know growing up i didn't really have like an older sister or like a older sister figure i mean i did but it's like we didn't have these kind of conversations but i had to tell her like honestly i didn't listen when people said like there's no rush to grow up because it's like you know as adults they don't really explain it to us the way it needs to be explained they just say be a kid there's no rush but i tell her like yo you're only gonna be paying bills and having a bunch of responsibilities like as a teenager, I'm like, you are going to have the best sleep of your life, stress-free sleep. Like, as an adult, there be some nights that it's like, I can't even sleep. My anxiety be so high. Like, and I know I'm not the only one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, girl, enjoy it. You don't got no bills, no responsibilities. Your mom pay your phone bill. That's the only bill that she would have. You're chilling right now. Enjoy it. Stop thinking there's a rush. Because, like, when you get to my age and them bills keep coming in, yeah, you're going to see go see so i had to tell her like you know have fun enjoy your time like really make the best out of it because i i mean i did make the best out of my high school years but i i didn't believe like shit really flies by like it like that like that i'm about to be 26 next month that's crazy 10 years ago i had my sweet 16 like when you think about all those things and how time just passes you really just be like damn that's so crazy Hey guys, so I didn't vlog in like two days and I'm looking crazy. I need my hair done, but it's gonna have to do until we get through this process that I'm about to show y'all. So your girl started moving her stuff. I started with the bathroom and the closet and then I'm gonna slowly move my way through the entire apartment, but I got some boxes today from Home Depot. I didn't even get a chance to show you guys because it was like an in and out thing. But I have like clothes in this box, some shoes in this box. I have some living room stuff in this box. Everything in here looks like really messy and crazy. But I just been like trying to sort through the things that I want, what I don't want, and I've been throwing away a lot of stuff because I don't need half this shit that I got. But this is my little closet. This is the main reason why, I, why I'm moving out of this apartment in the first place because it's very small and tight in here and I have a lot of clothes and it just wasn't gonna work anymore but I'm taking a little break I just got out the shower and I'm about to go to insomnia cookies because I've been craving the sugar cookie that I had at Kyra's house last night oh my god it was so good with some ice cream because she just had like a chef come over and cook and stuff like that I didn't vlog because I just like I told you I wasn't willing to vlog but we had some good food last night and the sugar cookie with the ice cream hit so different than I'm craving it today. And I feel like low key I have like a slightly addictive personality. Um, this is why I don't do drugs because for example like back in like 2020 during the pandemic I ate like literally a chocolate chip cookie with ice cream every night like I needed it every day and at one point like I used to be addicted to Twizzlers I used to use Twizzlers every day like I didn't if I didn't have Twizzlers I would be like going crazy like I needed it so I hope this isn't like my new addiction because I need that shit right now like I'm like no I'm going to insomnia to get that right now I don't care so that's where we're about to go to insomnia get some cookies and I'm gonna come back and just try to organize a little bit and just clean around the boxes because it looks crazy in here and I'm just trying to put some clothes to the side to take to Goodwill and to also give to my little cousin because I have like brand new clothes from like brands that I've just never worn so I'm just gonna make sure she gets those and yeah just throw out whatever garbage and stuff that I don't need but let me show y'all these shoes real quick before I head out. My bed looks crazy. As y'all know, I just told y'all. But I got these boots from Farfetch. I, first them, I got them a little while ago, but I never showed it to you guys. But these are some diesel boots that I got. And I finally got an outfit to go with it from Farfetch as well. I'm going to leave my code in the link 
you guys want to shop using my Farfetch code in my description box. But how cute are these heels? Like, ugh, I'm living out my early 2000s girl fantasy. Like, ugh, I love it. So yeah, these are the boots I got from Diesel. And I got a really cute Diesel outfit to go with them. So I can't wait to like put the whole look together and show you guys how it looks. But I need to put that to the side. Put all my other shoes and boxes that need to... Oh, look at my stomach. Ah! Yeah. That needs to go. But anyway, I'm heading out. I'm about to get this cookie. And I'm going to see y'all when I get my cookies. Bye. Hey guys, so hi Bentley. I'm going through clothes. So far, I have two bags in here, and I have like another bag in the living room. These are bags of clothes that I gotta get rid of. This is like a little house of CD top. This is in a size extra small. This is not fitting this fat ass anymore. <laughs> but yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'm tired. Tomorrow's Monday. I'm about to go to sleep soon because your girl gotta go to the coffee shop. Well, back to the coffee shop to finish editing this vlog. Well, I'm just trying to get as much done as I possibly can. I'm sorry if I'm not vlogging, guys. I know I promised y'all that I would vlog through this, but it's hard because it's just so much going on. I'm really trying to just get this done. All right, y'all. Pardon the mess if you see any mess because. It look real crazy. I'm eating a banana because I'm about to head to the gym. It's day two in the gym. I'm about to meet Angel downstairs and we're about to get it popping. I hate like the shrimpy pieces of the banana. It be ew, so nasty. Well, I'm getting that protein for the workout. I'm about to see Bentley real quick because he's staying in the apartment. But I'm getting. My birthday body, right? Don't play. Don't play. Don't play. Because like I told y'all, I'm getting a little too thick in the waist. I don't like that. Like, I want to snatch the waist fat ass. It's going to be a process, though. So, I'm out to meet Angel in the gym. We went to the gym yesterday. I didn't really vlog. Well, I didn't vlog. No, I didn't. Did I? I don't think so, because I didn't have my camera. And if I did, I probably entered it before this, like, on my phone or something. I don't know. But I need to see Bentley. So let me hurry up because she won't crash me out if I'm late. I'll meet y'all downstairs. Homer hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Cherie, où est mon bec? They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block, cause you know how sticky it get. Hey. 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 She want me to play with that cat. Hey. She love how I make it on wet. Hey. You know how sticky it get. What's up, y'all? So it's a lot going on in here right now because. Y'all know I'm moving into my new unit or whatever. So I literally unpacked so much stuff yesterday. Like all my cabinets are empty. Everything's like in boxes for the most part. I only have to tackle this closet tomorrow. My pantry is pretty much empty. Um, I went to check out my new apartment today. Well, this is later in the day after this little workout that she saw me doing earlier. A girl had just been in the gym trying to get the birthday body ready, but me and Angel are about to run to Insomnia Cookies. So I just wanted to get on the camera real quick just to let you guys know what I'm doing because I haven't really been picking up the camera because between trying to move and pack and work out and work, do my orders and stuff, it's a lot. But we're going to go to Insomnia just to get a little treat because I'm not really changing my diet like fully. But um, I am just trying to work out more to get my body toned for my birthday. But I'm heading out to get my cookies right now, and I'll see y'all there. Guys, 
as I secured my cookies. This bitch was supposed to eat cookies with me. <laughs> and she was like, oh no, that's too fattening. And look what she eating. Show them. What's worse? Comment below. Is this worse or is this worse? Is this worse or is it snickerdoodle? No, but I'm only eating two cookies. Girl, sea salt caramel. Girl, I needed like a quick... I said sea salt caramel. Salt and caramel. I need a quick fix, y'all. Because after the gym, I'm at Angel's apartment though, but my apartment looks crazy, y'all. Hers is nice and clean. Mine, mm -mm. not good. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's the next day. I'm not even in the mood to vlog, but I'm coming on here for y'all. I've been like so stressed with this whole moving thing. Like, it's just a lot going on. My apartment is in complete shambles. And picking up the camera is just like an extra task. But it's the next day. I'm outside of my laser appointment. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog when I get in. Just a disclaimer. Because I just said I'm really just not like, you know, in the best mood right now. Like when my life is a mess as far as like messy and stuff. I really just can't focus. I can't explain it. But I'm about to head in there. Go through pain. I'm already two minutes late. I just got to ice matcha latte grande with vanilla sweet cold foam oat milk and brown sugar syrup that is my matcha order um and i kind of made my day a little better but tomorrow we transfer into the new apartment finally um i have to call my renters insurance in the morning or when i get home if i have enough time to transfer the insurance i already called georgia power this morning to transfer that tomorrow and i also have to call well, i did my cable too they're coming girl it's a lot like this is gonna be my last move into my house please lord because the moving stuff is annoying i cannot keep doing this to myself every summer like i just can't but um yeah let me go head into my laser because like i said i'm late i need to get my hair done and yeah because i'm already three minutes late so let's go get this laser and i'll see you guys in the next clip what's up guys so i just have home goods i didn't take it on with me because it was just too much but me and home goods have a really great understanding because look at this painting how cute is that so i'm gonna put that into my bathroom because right now my bathroom's pink i got like the chanel stuff when i first moved into my apartment last year i'm like i want to do like a girly pink bathroom I'm over that like I'm over it I'm over it I'm over it I'm over it when I first moved to Atlanta my bathroom was more neutral like grays whites black so I'm going back to that because I noticed with that I don't want to say I don't get tired of it because I still kind of got tired of it but I'm back on my neutral thing you know I just can't do the color anymore so I just got that painted for my bathroom and I'm about to have to target because home because didn't have like really nice um soap dispensers and stuff so i'm gonna see what target has because i'm just trying like normally when i move into new apartments my bathroom is like the first thing that i want to get like decorated because we're well, not necessarily decorated but like situated so that way i could take like a good shower and all that stuff so i'm trying to get all that today heading to target now i am very happy about the painting that i saw well that i got today i saw like this cute little bench but it was looking a little dingy you know home goods it's like it's a hit or a miss, you know? So I just had to miss that and then just try to hopefully I find something else. But, girl, my laser appointment today, I was in there doing breathing exercises. I was like, <sighs> but like breathing for my life because it's so painful, like I tell you guys. And this is my fourth session, I believe. My fourth session, I think. I have four more sessions to go and honey. It's heating up. She told me like this is the stage where it's like you'll see a little bit more hair growth. And then it's going to start to calm back down. And then we're just going to be hairless. But breathing really helps me with laser. Like, yo. Know, especially when she says my Brazilian. I've been there like, hurry up, please. Because it hurts so much. But now I'm heading to Target. Like I said, I'm about to go to Target. And I got to get a shower curtain a liner for the shower curtain and i really need to find a place where i can find long bath mats because now this apartment that i'm getting has a his and her sink so i want like a long bath mat to just like cover both sides so i don't have to get two separate ones i feel like the two separate ones wouldn't really you know give me the vibe i'm going for so hopefully i can find that i saw it in um 
I saw it on Amazon, but I'm just wearing my stuff now. So, yeah. But let me stop chatting because I ain't talking about nothing. I'll see you guys at Target. Oh. So I just had to come back on the camera real quick because I just had to tell. So this, by the way, if you guys see this, it's from my laser. They had to like put chalk on my skin. But I just wanted to come on camera and tell you guys how grateful I am for you guys. Like we are growing slowly but surely. We are on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Like it's supposed to be 20,000 of us. I remember when I first started my YouTube journey consistently, January 2021. And I think I probably had like, I don't know, maybe like 2,000 subscribers at the time. So we're getting somewhere. And I'm really excited. I'm so thankful for you guys for always commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing my videos. Like, you guys definitely keep me going. I really enjoy doing this YouTube thing when I definitely have the time. I mean, it, I'm trying to turn it into a full-time thing. But, you know, sometimes it's like a little hectic with my schedule because I'll be doing other things. But there's so many opportunities that came from YouTube that I don't think I would have gotten by just being an entrepreneur and running my own brands. Like, I've worked with so many, like, big companies in such a small amount of time. And I'm so excited to see, like, what the future holds for me with my content creation, you know, business side of things. Like, it's just when I think about it, like even me leaving laser away today like that's a brand that i'm working with and they give me free laser sessions for the year like what like that's like a over like that's like about like a three thousand plus dollar package like so to get that for free is amazing you know working with farfetch like i i'm i just got gifted a free mattress and a duvet cover pillows and a sheet set from a company like just off the strength of me doing YouTube like they want me to promote their stuff like and you get there's so many opportunities so many free things like if you guys are thinking about doing YouTube or just putting out content in general just make the content and just do what feels right don't force it like for me right now like the easiest thing for me to do and it just comes natural for me is just filming you know YouTube vlogs like I was trying to get into like, TikTok vlogs but that's just easier for me to do like when I'm on vacation and stuff because on a day-to-day -day, I'm not really doing that much you know like I'm basically working and I don't want to base my channel just off work but like I said like me me doing the YouTube vlogs is what I like the best like this is you know I'm trying to niche down and I think I need to just focus primarily on YouTube I do enjoy TikTok and I love TikTok but at the same time like I feel like everything with TikTok is so edited like clean girl aesthetic soft life aesthetic this is that i'm not you know like i love the aesthetic but my life is not a social media aesthetic like the aesthetic comes naturally if no no not to be cocky or nothing but it's just like i have whatever my aesthetic is that's my natural aesthetic and i'm not trying to fall into a certain category just to post content like that doesn't make sense to me but thank you guys so much like i said for supporting me and i can't wait till we get that 100k plaque it's coming one day i'm gonna work super hard to get it but thank you guys so so much i'm just like every time something happens i get a new brand deal you know a good amount of views or whatever it's because of you guys so you guys are just amazing and i'm just gonna trying to show more gratitude because and i'm trying to be more thankful for the small wins because yes because i don't have a hundred thousand followers yet doesn't mean anything like i want to let you guys know honestly followers really do not matter because i know really small content creators that's doing the damn thing so don't let the numbers discourage you because there's a lane for everybody like even when i talk to some influencers that have like you know bigger audiences than me they're like girl you worked at really big companies like i've never you know done that at the rate at you know when i was at your you know audience size so it's like do you do you put out the content don't focus on the numbers just focus on your work stay in your lane and just have full tunnel vision with this shit because you got to stay focused like you cannot compare yourself to other people do not try to mimic content just 
do what feels right so that's just like my little word of advice on my drive to target because it's kind of on my mind i'm like i have to thank you guys like i have to express gratitude you cannot get to the next level in life if you're not grateful for what god has already opened up for you in this moment so i don't mean to preach but i just have to share that with you guys i love you guys Take that foot off the gas, man. I'm telling you. Go to Mr. Child. I don't want to go there. Yeah. I don't feel like I don't feel like Felipe would be hitting. Hey guys, so I just came into the new apartment. As you can hear the echoing, I just brought Bentley down here. Come Bentley, so you could sniff out the vibes and see the vibes. Um, yeah, we're in the new apartment, the new kitchen. Look at the island, like, ooh, so cute. So, um, yeah, this is where we at. I'm about to start unpacking, cleaning, wiping things down. I'm gonna sage my unit. I always sage my new apartments. Everybody has their different opinions on sage, but I like to sage every new place that I come into. That's just what I do. You do what you do, I'm gonna do what I do. Um, yeah, even though it's like pretty much really clean in here, I'm still gonna, you know, go back in and really just do my own little touch-ups to things because people don't really clean how you clean. So, yeah, y'all, I'm about to start moving all my stuff. I have today and tomorrow to move everything. I just put all my stuff that I picked up from Target and Home Goods yesterday that's in those bags. That's for my bathroom. So, my bathroom's gonna get decorated first because, like I told you guys, I like to have my bathroom done first. So this is like the tub area. That's my bigger closet. It's not super, super bigger, but it's a difference. Like we have a walk-in closet now. My other closet's not walking. This unit, I get a way bigger bathroom. Piss in her sinks. My bedroom is huge. Like I can't even really show you guys, or you probably can't even tell on camera, but it's like so, big in this bedroom. My living room is much bigger too. I'm so excited to make some memories in this apartment. And yeah, let me get to clean and get off this camera because one of the guys who's supposed to help me move today, he just flopped. So I don't know what I'm about to do. I need to situate somebody else because I ain't moving on couch. I'm not that strong. So let me figure this out. I got a few hours to get things right. See you guys in a few. Y'all, yeah. at this point, just give me the horrible vlogger award. Look at my hair. This is the next day, y'all. My camera is about to die. I can't find my own um, camera charger because with all this stuff being moved, I just don't know where everything's at. Um, for the most part, everything's in my apartment. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little look around before I like the camera dies. Like my couch and everything is here. My bed is in the room with my other stuff, my dresser, all that stuff. I have my own, you know, TV and stuff. Everything is up on the wall. Um, this area that I'm about to show you is crazy though. Like, it's just a bunch of clothes just sitting right there that I have to still go through. I need to go get a dish sponge so I can wash my dishes. I have to get some like, dishwasher pods do dishes too in a dishwasher because I don't really wash dishes anymore my closet though a mess um my shower the bathroom's already done so I'm not gonna show you that but basically your girl been working and that's why I haven't been on the camera and my camera's about to die right now so once I find my charger we'll really just check in settle in and regroup about what's actually going on because your girl is very very tired I still have to go upstairs in my other apartment and finish like cleaning out what's going on in there. So give me a few. Whew. Hey guys, so it's so many hours later. Like I just went unpacking, 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 cleaning, unpacking, cleaning, unpacking. It's a lot, okay? So um, I actually have like a big box right here. You have to see, Let me show it to you real quick. I must unpack a bunch of my clothes and put it into drawers. I know I told you guys I was going to take you guys more through like this whole little moving process, but honey, it's been a lot. Like, 
It's been a lot. Like, I had only, well, yesterday was my moving date. So, today's the 23rd. Let me check my phone. Today's the 23rd, but yesterday was the 22nd. So, the 22nd, I got my keys to this new apartment. And I literally, I literally only had a day to move everything from my other apartment into this apartment. So, that's what we did. Like, finally made it happen. And I'm really excited about this apartment because it's so much more space. I'm like, Ashley, I got a scratch. Like, moving, I look busted. I need, like, the whole nine. I need my hair, nails, eyebrows, lashes. I need everything done, okay? Like, but today's Saturday. I'm going to take today and tomorrow just to focus, like, on my apartment and do as much as I can. And then once I'm done with everything after that, it's kind of just, like, well, after this weekend, I'm kind of just going to do little by little. I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself because I do want to start focusing on my birthday and then pick back up with the moving. So I'm trying to get as much done as possible. Um, <clears throat> it's just so much stuff. Like, I didn't realize how much stuff I have. But most of the stuff that I have is really, like, clothes and shoes. Like, I have furniture and all that stuff, too. But I always throw out, like, my sheets and, like, my bath rugs and stuff like that and like my shower curtains and always like getting new stuff when I move but I have so many clothes and I gave away so much clothes to like my little cousin like she left up on a lot of good pieces because it's like when I go through my closet and I'm like all right I'm not gonna wear this again it's like I need to get rid of it like for example this little top right here probably not gonna wear this again so I'll either probably give it to her or just try to sell it on my little clothing page if you guys want to buy like secondhand items for me follow my closet page at closet.shana we'll leave that on the screen that's my closet instagram where i do sell some of my pieces from time to time but yeah i'm about to just sit here and fold up all these clothes that's in this box so i could break it down and then just move on to the next thing. Like, I have clothes. I have a lot of clothes with tags on it. Like, I need to wear my stuff. And I need to, like, slow down my shopping. Because really and truly, I don't really need anything. And that's why these days I try to buy more basics. But, yeah, this is what I'm doing. I just want to catch up with you guys. Because these last two days have been super hectic. But I'm happy I got my bed set up. My TVs are up, so it's like things are just moving pretty quick, and I wish I could have documented more for you guys to see, but y'all have to understand, like, when you're moving, it's just, I yesterday I was getting overwhelmed so many times, like, I had, like, literal breakdowns, and I was just, like, getting super annoyed, because I'm like, so much is happening at once, and it's like, I'm trying to do this and do that, and it's just a lot, so I had to take time to really just step away from everything, and then picking up my camera just wouldn't have been the right time, because I would have really low vibrational energy, and I don't want to ever come on camera giving those vibes, you know, so I'm really sure from the last vlog, never wore it, but I'm going to wear it on my little birthday trip, well not little, I got the little box this trip I have to take, but I'm about to wear that on my birthday trip that's coming up, because it's more the vibe for my vacation but yeah guys um i'm about to just sit here and do this and i guess we could just catch up later um hopefully i make some more progress the next time you guys see me so bye hey guys so i'm about to go to the gym it's the next day i'm about to continue my workout because i didn't go to the gym for like three days so i gotta be on it so you know we get in our bodies ready but I just want to do like a quick unboxing with you guys real quick because my girl sent me some pieces from her brand, so um, she sent me like fur and stuff during the winter and now she has like her little summer line out. So I'm really excited to see the pieces. I'm coming out with like an ostrich fur collection of like dresses and tops. Oh, so this is like a little top. Super, super cute. <laughs> I love me a little feather top. This is really, really cute. And it comes with a zipper at the back. Okay. Very cute. And she also sent me another item, which is this nice blue dress. I can't wait to um get the bottom part like taken in, like because I want it to be cinched at the waist. This is really cute. I will definitely wear this this fall. I just wanted to show it to you guys because before I pack it away in my closet because y'all know I have to organize my closet after this move. But I just want to do like a quick unboxing with you guys real quick because 
I haven't been on the camera consistently. I went to Trader Joe's this morning and I was gonna take you guys with me, but I forgot my camera. So there's that. Um, but I'm about to head to the gym right now because I need these results. Bentley, get down. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, I just came back from the gym and I'm making dinner right now. I'm making, well, I got this like artesian shrimp from Trader Joe's. I don't know if you guys ever like seen it or heard of it or whatever, but I decided to try it and I didn't know what to do with it. So I just said, fuck it, we're going to do curry shrimp. So I'm making it with some white rice and I have like the gravy kind of simmering with the potatoes and the vegetables just to get all that flavor. Um... And I'm going to throw in the shrimp last because when you're making a shrimp, you do not need a lot of time. But this is not why I came on camera. I just happened to be cooking. But, and nobody comment saying, girl, you just came from the gym and now you're eating da 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 Because I'm not changing my diet. I'm just um, working out, you know. But your girl just hit 20,000 subscribers. Well, I hit it like about an hour ago. Right now, I'm at, I'm sorry, 20,009 yeah so we are at 20k y'all let me show you guys hold on yes we're at 20,000 subscribers i'm super super excited um i just want to come on here and thank you guys whoever subscribed liked commented whoever was hating whoever whoever you are thank you thank you because i wouldn't be at 20,000 without you guys and to so some that might be a small number but i'm being consistent the numbers really don't matter to me i mean it kind of does because I want that 100k plaque. But at the same time, small wins are also big wins to me. And I'm just very appreciative. Thank you guys so much. Um, I want to do like a, a giveaway for you guys. Um, I actually have in mind who I would even just want to give something away to already because she's just one of the most consistent subscribers on my channel. She comments on every video. So I don't know. Y'all comment below and let me know how I should do the giveaway. Whether I should just make it like a... I don't know just comment below with some giveaway ideas because i want to celebrate this with all of you guys and yes thank you guys i love you guys so much i'm about to finish up my dinner and make a tiktok because i'm on my tiktok vibe today since i forgot my camera when i went to trader joe's but yeah y'all thank you guys so much i'm so happy i don't even know what to say like i'm one of those people like if i got an award i wouldn't know what to say but i'm about to just finish cooking Oh, I want to show you guys something that I got from Trader Joe's too. Don't mind any mess that you guys see because, you know, I'm still unpacking. This is my fridge right now. We got, you know, we got some stuff today. But I got this pineapple juice from Trader Joe's today because I wanted to try it. So I'll let you guys know how it is. And I picked this up in um, Target because I wanted to start drinking sparkling water because I'm trying to be so fancy. It's in the passion fruit flavor. It's not bad, but... I don't know. It's an acquired taste. That's what I'm going to say. But when I finish my food, I'm going to show you on my plate. And then I'll see y'all in a few. I look so crazy and I don't even care like typically the weeks before my birthday I just don't care but I'm gonna get myself together in a few days because I have to shoot content for brand deals I have to shoot my inventory and I'm going to a burn a boy concert this weekend turn up so I'm in a different car right now y'all probably can't tell because my car has black interior too but this morning, I had to go to Mercedes to, um, let me not have my car right in the AC because that's when the sound's going to be fucked up. I had to take my car to Mercedes to get it serviced. Don't we love those service days when we got to pay money to get an oil change? Because that's basically all they're about to do. But anyway, um, 
yeah now i just left my storage my lashes i look so busted like this is why i haven't even picked up the camera like one thing about me i want to pick up the camera when i look at least decent like right now i look toe the fuck up and i have to hold my camera in my hand right now because this car doesn't have like a spot on my dashboard where i can hold it but anyway i'm about to drop my orders off i just left my storage so whatever orders i got from yesterday um, I drop off because I typically like to ship out most of my boutique orders right away. It's my hair orders that take some time because it's like I basically ship that per order. Like hair orders are made to order. I'm about to go ship that out. And then um, it's just in that bag right there. And then I'm going to go home, make some breakfast. It's 11-11, make a wish. Yes, I need a good wish. I need, I need a miracle to happen. But I'm going to go home have some breakfast because my um appointment for my car was at nine o'clock and they had me in there like for two hours so um i had to wake up super early for that i didn't even brush my hair I just put this hat on but um i had to wake up super early to do that now i'm like let me just stay out do what i have to do i can just get in the house and then probably um you know get computer work done because i do have to um respond to some emails and to get some things situated i need to like pick out my outfits for this trip that i'm going on i can't wait to do this travel vlog for my birthday i'm super excited but i think i'm about to just end off this vlog and just start a new vlog like a maintenance week vlog and the concert vlog and a separate vlog this vlog was like so all over the place and i'm just trying to apologize for that because I know I promised you guys moving content, but like I told you guys a few clips back, it was super overwhelming. But I'm not done moving. Like, I still have boxes and stuff all over, so I'm going to continue it in the next vlog. But this vlog, I just could not accomplish the goal that I had in mind because everything was just so hectic. Moving in, like, a day is so hard. When I did my moving content last time, like, I even wanted to do, like, a quick little empty apartment tour for you guys. I did not have time it was just too much um last time like i had like a week to move so i had extra time to like you know move my things back and forth and i had movers i didn't get movers this time around because i'm like i don't think i need movers to go into another unit like you know that's like a truck like i basically got movers last time because basically to get a truck and to help transport all the stuff but if i'm in the same building it's like what's the point but I'm just chatting. I just wanted to apologize for how choppy this vlog was. I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Ain't nothing really happened. I really didn't pick up the camera. It was just a bunch of nothing. But I promise you guys the next vlog is going to be better because I'm going to get my hair done, my nails done, lashes done. We're going to a Burna Boy concert. What else is happening? Why well, I feel like there's more stuff that's supposed to happen. I have some friends coming into town, so I know I'm going to be going to dinner. Like... It's going to be a more activated vlog. Like, you know, this week with this vlog, I just had too much going on and your girl just could not pick up the camera. So, I just wanted to come on camera and end up this vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried my best <laughs> to get some type of content. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. What happened in this vlog? We hit 20K. That was amazing. We've been doing a lot more workouts. I think that's another reason why I haven't been hitting picking up the camera too like after i come from the gym i'm like super tired like and for those of you guys that's wondering i'm not in the gym to lose weight or anything like that because i know in my last vlog i did tell you guys like i was gaining weight this is just for me to tone up like my birthday's coming up i want to have my abs toned up i want to work on my glutes i'm trying to get my booty to be you know nice and lifted and tight you know so that's the reason for me going to the gym. I haven't changed my eating habits. That's not something that I'm really interested in because I'm the kind of person I want to eat what I want, you know? So that's what I'm doing. But yeah, we're going to continue basically the same routine in the next vlog. More workouts, more moving, all that good stuff. Hold on. I come drop my packages off. I have to park my car in a garage. This post office is fancy. But yeah, y'all. More content on the way. Um, 
oh and just a heads up i have to do like a lot of sponsor content coming up so if you guys see like a lot of sponsor content just know i tried to warn you come on miss come on come on come on go ahead go ahead because you're walking so slow you're walking so slow and you know i'm trying to park like people really kill me sorry y'all like i'm trying to park my car and she's walking like People don't have things to do. Like, I gotta go back in the house. Bentley is concerned. He doesn't know how or where I went. All right. Let me park this car, y'all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, as always. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. <laughs>